Yo guys, I'm going to show you my stable of bikes. This is episode 14. I have a stable of bikes because I'm a huge motorcycle enthusiast. I'm not showing this to you guys to like try to brag or be cool or be a badass or something like that. It's like seriously my passion. I love motorcycles. Welcome to Inside the Rocket Garage. favorite things in the whole wide world are motorcycles and I'm going to show you my stable of motorcycles. I've been requested uh, over and over again, hey what other bikes do you have? I've seen the Indian Scout Bobber but what else? So today I'm going to go over that. I grew up with dirt bikes so I'm starting with my sort of dirt bike stuff. I'm going to start right now with the KTM 690. There's a 2016 KTM 690 guess what 690 cc's that's a lot of cc's for a thumper for an off-road bike it's not a total off-road bike it's an enduro so it's the 690 enduro i absolutely am in love with this bike this is the kind of bike that is great to me for day trips meaning i want to go to like gorman for the day or lower flats or somewhere further down south or whatever just pack a few things up take the roads go down uh hit the trails all day come back, grab some lunch, and then, and then drive all the way back. It's great for that. Is it great for going around the world? People have done it. Uh, people have gone all over the United States, all, you know, taken this everywhere. It wouldn't be comfortable to me for that. Maybe I'm too old or whatever. This bike is killer. I haven't done a ton of stuff to it, but I've done a few things. I did the wings exhaust on this. I didn't like the way you had to fuel it, so I made an easier fuel thing. I have a seat concept seat on here. Uh, it just makes it so much nicer. Giant loop um, tank bag. I have some uh, fat bars on here, um, some risers, uh, just a bunch of little goodies. Nothing too crazy. Uh, there's, I would love to do the Baja Designs lights on the front eventually, but for now, I'm super, super happy with it. I kind of ride the piss out of it for now. So the next bike we're going to take a look at is this one. So guys, this is one of my favorite bikes ever. It is a Scrambler Ducati. This is made by, obviously, Ducati. This is the Urban Enduro model. Um, I took this out, maybe if you remember, on the road last year, and I rode this everywhere. Um, I love the Ducati brand. Such an amazing aesthetic to what they do. I've done so much to this bike. With the help of British Customs, who uh, sent me a bunch of stuff, they sent me this exhaust, uh, they sent me bars, the bar kit, the speedometer relocation kit, and I put some Owen shocks on this thing. Uh, I went to a really cool place called Fontenelle Supply in uh, Iowa, and they made this bag for me so I could put my Leica camera in there and shoot photos from the saddle. Um, also, we redid this seat. This is from British Customs as well. Uh, God, it's just too much stuff to name. I just did so many different things with this. It's just like sometimes I sit there and I go, I'm going to get rid of something, and then I fall completely back in love with it. Like, this thing rocks. BMW R9T. I mean, this is like next level shit here. Um, this bike is crazy. It's crazy fast, handles really great for in the canyons and stuff. Man, this thing is just incredible. It is super, super fast um, and it's tight. I mean, this thing is just built like a freaking tank, like BMWs are. Uh, BMWs are incredible bikes. Um, this is no exception at all. It's got like this aluminum tank um, that is just gorgeously welded. It's like art. This bike is pretty special to me because um, I had a number 13 on the front and it's because when I, um, when I was pronounced cancer free was uh, the 13th of July, which is one day before my son's birthday. 
And this became my cancer-free bike. Um, I bought it to celebrate uh, being cancer-free. So it's special. Wait till you see the next bike I'm gonna bring out. BMW GS1200 or BMW GS1200 Adventurer. This is arguably the best all around jack of all trades bike that there is. This bike is incredible, 1200 cc's. Uh, this bike is, this bike is, in, Jesus. This is the battleship of motorcycles, Swiss army knife of motorcycles. There are a lot of companies that have tried to dethrone the BMW GS1200. Honda with its new Africa Twin, arguably a, a great contender, awesome bike. KTM 1190, 1290 Adventure, great bikes. Uh, the new Ducati Adventure bikes, great bikes. Triumph Tiger, amazing bike. But nobody has been able to dethrone the BMW 1200 GS. It is just kick ass and take names of motorcycles. It's smooth on the road, it's smooth off-road. Uh, this boxer motor cannot be argued with. It's proven time and time again. It's got that low center of gravity torque that uh, just powers you through stuff that you never thought you would ever be able to get through on a large displacement bike. This is the motorcycle of choice at places like Rawhide Adventures, my good friend Jim Hyde, Check out Rawhide Adventures, and I'm not getting paid to say this. It is an absolutely amazing place to learn how to really ride these things off-road. All the instructors that are up there, Owen, Sharif, Gina, I mean, all these great people, Jeff Camacho, I mean, great, great guys and girls. Um, what can I say? My mind and my heart belong to the adventure segment, but my soul belongs to the cafe racers of the world, which... That is my next bike coming up, my cafe racers, my British bikes, my hooligan bikes. Triumph Thruxton, 2004, the very first year of the Thruxton. This, people, is my hooligan bike. It is very similar to what I think the 50s and 60s guys would have done, the rockers in England would have done to their bikes to get them to be their cafe racers. I could do a whole movie on cafe racers, and I plan to one day. I'm in this little club called the Brit Iron Rebels, and we are a club of guys that love British motorcycles, and especially the cafe racer classic style bikes. Old bikes and new bikes, but with that classic old school look and feel. Cafe racers, scramblers, street trackers, stuff like that. I put this club together 11 or 12 years ago with five guys hoping that we would maybe have 10 or 15 really good guys. We have close to 300 people in like 12 countries now. It is an amazing, amazing club where people share all sorts of things from all walks of life. This is the quintessential bike for that club. So is my Norton. Marlon Brando rode a Triumph, right? Steve McQueen rode a Triumph. Even the early Evil Knievel, he was riding Triumphs until he got endorsed by Harley Davidson. It is a British icon, but it's become an American icon too. I love this bike because this one is, I've done so much to, but I have a wide tire kit. I've bored this out to over 900 cc's. I've shortened fenders, I've changed handlebars, I've done pipes, I've done jetting, I've done, can't even remember everything. I, I turn signals and uh, hubs and I, I mean, just the paint's different. Me and my uncle Bob Spina painted this thing. The thing I learned to pinstripe from him. I thought about actually doing a segment on pinstriping. Would you guys want to learn how to pinstripe? Let me know in the comments down below. At this point, I'm wondering whether to talk about the Indian bobber because I've done a couple of videos on the bobber and you're going to see it a lot in vlogs because I plan on using it a lot uh, on the road this year. That's what I'm going to take out. I'm going to wrap it up by just saying that uh, wear a helmet. I don't mean to preach it, but seriously, 
Uh, and if you're going to wear one, wear a decent one. Wear one that covers your jaw so you don't get your jaw totally twisted. Um, I've seen a lot of people suck through a straw for six or eight months because they broke their jaw. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I've seen people die. I used to be an emergency medical technician back in Harrisburg, PA. I've seen really messed up people. Gloves. you got to wear gloves. First thing you do when you fall, people stick their hands out and tear their hands up. If you use your hands as much as I know I do, uh, wear gloves. Wear elbow pads. I mean, I, again, I don't mean to preach. I'm just I love you guys and I hate to hear about people getting hurt. People are going to get hurt. People are going to go down. Uh, just be as safe as you can. I used to have a bat on my other Triumph and that bat meant to me that everybody's as blind as a bat. You know, they don't know you're coming. Every time I looked at that, it would remind me that even, even if that car ahead of me, their eyes are in the rear view mirror and I can tell they're looking at me. I'm still not sure if they really truly see me because I've had somebody look right at me and then start to turn into my lane. And I'm like going, are you serious? This happens all the time. Just think all the time that somebody is either can't see you or they're out to get you. Just be careful out there. I love you guys. Be safe, take care of each other, and keep rock up. If people like this channel, what are they supposed to do? Subscribe and leave a like down below and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another video.